quarantined not once, but twice for the coronavirus. After mounting criticism to issue a, stay at, a statewide stay-at-home order. The latest now on the coronavirus emergency. It will get worse. It will get much worse before it gets better. So as you all know, mostly everyone here in the US is staying at home to stop the spread of the COVID-19 virus. Now it's been about a solid month since I last saw a friend or coworker in real life. Yeah, crazy times. But this video isn't really about that. This is all about the products or gadgets and services that I use to keep myself busy, entertained, and staying up to date with the news while I'm staying at home. Now probably the best thing that's keeping me sane in my apartment is my Nintendo Switch. Now Animal Crossing, I'm sure you've all heard, is the hottest game right now. I've never played Animal Crossing before, but it's seriously such a fun game. If you've ever played Stardew Valley or Sims, it's pretty much a combination of those two games. You farm bugs, fishes, fruits, sell it, make money, you build out your own magical island. It's a lot of grinding and buying and selling and you can visit other people's islands too. There's a ton to do here in Animal Crossing. All the bugs and fishes change depending on the day or season you're in, which is actually really cool. But yeah, that's what I've been playing the most to help me pass time on the weekends. Now, if you guys are curious, cause I know you'll ask, my Switch is using the new teardown skin from Dbrand. Now Dbrand is our channel sponsor. They just dropped these new teardown skins just a few weeks ago that showcases what the inside of your device looked like. Now I have one for my iPhone 11 Pro as well, but they make it for a few other devices. So if you wanna go ahead and check it out, check out that first link in the description below. Again, shout out to Dbrand for sponsoring this channel and this video. Now the next thing that I have is my PS4 Pro in Glacier White. With Call of Duty Warzone dropping last month, the boys and I have been playing this game almost every night. Whether that's playing regular Team Deathmatch or Warzone, this is what I've been playing on the PS4. Now I've only won a single match in Warzone, but I'm hoping that we can get a few more wins before this lockdown is over. Now besides that though, I've also been playing NBA 2K20 because I miss watching basketball. Leave a comment down below what your favorite team is. I'm a Wizards fan because I'm from DC, but I suppose I'm a Lakers fan now too because I live in LA. Now, when I'm working during the week, I've actually been using this iMac Pro as my daily computer that my job supplied me with. It's a little overkill for what I do for my actual 9-to-5 work, but it actually comes in handy when I need to edit photos or videos, or I'm QCing videos, creating style guides for my team, and, you know, learning After Effects. It's a pretty beefy computer that can handle everything I throw at it, and I love it. Now, it's also connected to my LG Ultrafine 5K display, which looks stunning. I think this is the best monitor that you can get for any Mac. The Pro XDR display is great, but let's be real, you're not going to spend six to eight grand on a monitor. But if you guys are curious about the iMac Pro specs, I'll list them down below. Now moving on to another piece of gadget that I use pretty much every day is the Facebook portal. Now ever since I've been staying at home, I've been using this a ton to call my parents who live 3,000 miles away. I've also been using the portal to stream music via Spotify, and the speakers are actually really good and fills my entire apartment. Now I've completely ditched two of my Google Home speakers for this, and it works great, plus I can display really cool pictures like this. Now in terms of services that I use, I have a TCL Roku TV and I watch a lot of Netflix and HBO shows during my downtime. On Netflix, I've been actually binge watching Ozark. I started season two recently. It's a really crazy series. And if you haven't watched it, I highly recommend it. Now last but not least, I also use the Roku channel to watch the news and what's happening around the world because like I said in the beginning, crazy times right now. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to share with you all what keeps me occupied during this quarantine. I hope you all are staying safe, staying inside, washing your hands, and please don't go outside unless you absolutely need to. And yeah, I'll hopefully see you all in the next one.